second last story, maybe last story for the day. Man arrested at extremist Muslim. New Mexico compound was training kids to commit school shootings. Documents. Um, so we'll obviously go through and we'll talk about this. Uh, the father of a missing three-year-old who was arrested at a New Mexico compound linked to extremist Muslim last week was chaining children to commit school shootings. Court documents filed on Wednesday revealed. Prosecutors allege that Serene Abinawanani, you might be mispronouncing, 39, was conducting weapons training on the compound where 11 children were found hungry and living in squalor. They asked Mujadi, who appeared in court on Wednesday, be held without bail. Wahadi is the son of the Brooklyn AM, AM, AM? Yeah, um, uh, also named Shajar Wahadi, who was named by the prosecutors as an unindicted co-conspirator in the uh, sorry, 1993 World Trade Center bombing and New York Post reported. Authorities raised the compound, raided the compound on Friday after the month-long search investigating the disappearance of Adawdi Wadadi, a boy with severe medical issues who went missing from Georgia in December. On Monday, a children's remains were found on the property, but authorities were working on the positive identification and did not confirm if the remains were that of the missing boy. Lucas Montal, Montal might be mispronouncing, Jaron Landerville, it might be mispronouncing, 35, Hawari Wadari, 38, and Sabana Wadari, 35, were also arrested on the property on Friday and all faced child abuse charges. The makeshift compound located near the Colorado, Colorado border was, fo uh, was found sheltered by old tires, wooden pallets, and other debris. debris. Upon authorities arriving, Wahadi was heavily armed with an AR-15 rifle, five loaded 30-round magazines, and four loaded pistols, including one in his pocket when he was taken down, uh, Taos County Sheriff Jer uh, Jeremy Hoffer said. The sheriff said that the children aged between 1 and 15 look like third world country refugees, not only for no food, no water, but no shoes, personal hygiene, and basic dirty rags for clothing. Only food sorry, the only food investigators found were some potatoes and a box of rice inside a dirty trailer, the sheriff said, adding that the living conditions were the ugliest looking, filthiest he's ever seen. Harok previously said that occupants of the compound were most likely heavily armed and considered extremists of the Muslim belief. A warrant made public on Monday, Wahadi told the missing boy's mother that he wanted to perform an exorcism on his then three-year-old son because he was possessed by the devil. The missing children reportedly suffered from the seizure and couldn't walk. The, in addition to his father, reportedly being named by prosecutors as an unindicted co-conspirator in the 1993 bombing, the elder Wahadi, who heads Masad al Tawar's mosque, was characterized with uh, was a character witness in the trial of Sharik Ahmad Ahmadi Rahman, my British pronouncing the, the notorious blind, blind sheath, who was convicted in 1995 of plotting terrorist attacks in the U.S. Actually, all the adults there, but let me tell you, police did find these 11 children, ages 1 to 15, last week, hungry and malnourished, living in this compound in rural New Mexico. They also found an AR-15, five 30-round loaded magazines, and four loaded pistols. Now, according to court records from just a few hours ago, these five defendants that you see here, two men and three women, trained at least one of the children in how to use a gun. Quoting from those records, a foster parent of one of the 11 children stated the defendant had trained the child in the use of an assault rifle in preparation for a future school shooting. Additional charges filed specifically against the women for transporting kids 
beyond state lines for the purpose of receiving advanced weapons training to commit future acts of violence. Now, police executed the search warrant last week after receiving a text saying, we are starving, need food and water. A SWAT team, after seeing a firing range on the property, moved in unannounced and arrested the five suspects. Now, they were looking for a boy, a three-year-old Abdul Wahaj. He was kidnapped last year by his father, Siraj, who believed the boy was possessed by the devil and planned to perform an exorcism. In fact, the boy could not walk because of epilepsy. Now, Siraj's father is a controversial Islamic cleric and was an unindicted co-conspirator in the 93 World Trade Center bombing, according to the New York Post, the Daily News, and Senator Chuck Schumer. The cleric also called the CIA and the FBI terrorists and defended the man who was ultimately convicted in the Trade Center bombing. So court records say some of these kids who are now in state custody, Dana, told police that in the last few days they saw that three-year-old boy, Abdul, that he was in the compound. He is now assumed to be dead. Police retrieved what they believed to be his bones, but that has yet to be confirmed by the wow, coroner. So right now, all five suspects are in court. Back to you. Wow. Thank you, William. Uh, so, um, look at the end of the day, what's the takeaway from all this? Um, look, uh, yeah, good thing that they've, uh, they stopped this. I'm glad they went through and stopped this as they have. Um, it was obviously, yeah, uh, definitely interesting. Um, interesting the fact that they're now approaching the school shooting angle. Um, so they're obviously trying to take notes from major school shootings and stuff that have happened in the past. Um, and they're trying to mock them or recreate them uh, as a terrorist attack. Uh, kind of scary in itself. Um, but look, obviously, at the end of the day, I'm glad they arrested him. Um, I would say give him the death penalty. Um, give all of them the death penalty. Um, just, I don't know. I'd just export him out of your country. Kill him. I, I, I don't know, guys. It's, I really don't have any sympathy for terrorists. Um, and at the end of the day, that's what these guys are. Regardless of race or religion. They were planning on carrying out mass shootings, according to this article, anyway. Um, so I, I would say, yeah, execute them or deport them and never to be entered into the U.S. ever again. Like, never, ever. Um, because, I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What was your view on this? What do you think these guys should have happened to them? Do you think they should be executed? Do you think they should be deported with their passports ripped up? Do you think that the, the wife, for example, was complicit? Do you think that she was innocent? Or do you think she knew what was going on all along? Oh, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new, channel welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.